Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from BullionNowBullionNow.com.au bringing you the best of the Perth Mint regular releases. That's it. And it's koala season. It is. We've, yeah. uh, we've just gotten back from the uh, from the Perth Mint and uh, it'll be interesting now to uh, to take a look at a Perth Mint coin and go, I've seen where that's made. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're hoping to bring uh, everyone a further video about, um, about our trip over there and uh, hopefully some behind the scenes. Um, to, to see where coins just like these are made. Yeah. Something I learned while I was over there that koalas aren't native to WA. Yeah. Which we, uh, I'd never known before. We discovered that one on uh, on live stream. It was a pretty good, uh, yeah. pretty good time. So here is the design. Now this is just the the one ounce. The the kilo will be coming uh, in 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 time to come. I don't think yeah, we have a specific... Month. Yeah, we do. Oh, we do? I've been given release date. Okay. I should have looked it up before I started. <laughs> yeah, so the kilo is not too far behind. That's good. So this is the uh, the first look at the koala design and uh, I, I actually kind of like it. So you've got obviously the tree there with the, with the gum leaves in the background and then the koala chilling. The uh... The, the shape of the face and things, it kind of, to, to me, gives off a little bit more of a, a cartoony kind of depiction. A little bit more of almost like a kid-friendly koala as opposed to, you know... The, 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 uh, I don't know. I, I can see what you're saying. I, I think it's... Kind of, kind of blinky bill, kind of, you know, yeah. I'm thinking back to my children's TV shows <laughs> um, growing up. But yeah, that, that kind of style is what it, it, it reminds me of. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I'm a little concerned how it's going to translate to a larger planchet, mm -hmm. i.e. the kilo. Um, I wonder if it will give the koala more of a, a grumpy face. And mm -hmm. you'll see when you get a close-up of this, you'll actually see what I'm talking about. Um, but I think it's a fairly stereotypical koala um, picture, if you like. Yep. Um, it's certainly, uh, in my humble opinion, more accurate than a kookaburra sitting on a bird bar. <laughs> Still <laughs> going on about the bird Still bar. Still going on about it. Had some interesting discussions in Perth about that. But um, yeah, look, I actually think it's it's a, a very stereotypical um, classic background, and I actually quite like it. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see what people say. Again, they've gone with that new generation, although it's almost not new anymore, um, scripting, yep. um, which is pretty cool. And then over the page, we have HRH. The first koala with uh, King Charles. Mm. Last one we had was the uh, the memorial of this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the koala is kind of Perth Mint's matte um, matte finish coin that they do. The uh, the kookaburra tends to, uh, to to be more of that kind of glossy style, mm. um, and a limited release mintage of three hundred thousand on yep. these ones. And once they're done, they're done. So grab them while you can if they're in your repertoire. Um, and they're, they're, look, they're just a great, honest little um, Perth Mint production. So I yeah. actually think they're great. A good one to grab as a long-term hold. That's it. Not a financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to, uh, to know what people think of these, um, these down in the comments below. So feel yeah. free to uh, provide your thoughts. We'll, uh, we'll uh, take a look at those and I, I guess uh, talk about them uh, on stream at the end of the week. We'll, uh, we'll see what uh, the overall consensus was, if this is a, uh, a winner or not. Sounds good. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk again soon. See ya.